Hey everyone, quick beer review, and this one's kind of said to me from Adam at Baldy's Homebrew. So I don't know if he's on there somewhere, he's one of these maybe. It's probably the goat on the top. So this is his ESB, and it's his extra strong stroke special bitter. And it's a boil in the bag, no sorry, it's brew in the bag. Brew. And it's got in this one, Maris Otter, Crystal 90, Crystal 60. I've used Maris Otter before, but not the, the two Crystals 90 and 60. Hops is used, is used. Target hops, never used. Challenger hops, never used. North Down, never used. And East Cape Golden, which, which I've used. And the yeast is used, White Labs English, English Ale Yeast, WLP002. And I've only used one liquid yeast before since I've I think on a fair fest that I've ruined. Like six, seven quid a tub, I think. Nah, nah, I ain't buying any more of them. So, we'll give this a, a go. So, it's you know, like, man after my own art, simple label, ESP, 5.9%. So, I, I did try, did a review of um, Mike's at the Dean's List ESP, and it was six point summit. And, and obviously Adams used different malts completely so and different hops. So we'll crack this one open. I don't think I'll rush it. So it is a school night, but I can have a couple of pounds of mutton coal. So let's see what it tastes like. You could quite a big hiss that. And I, I did see it rising up at the bottom top there. Did expect it overflowing. I'm just gonna stick it in a standard thick stained glass. It's non non nucleated. Can't smell that on the bottle, but on the bottle, you know, on the inside. So I'll give this a pour. Compared to one that what I got off Mike, the Dean's list, this is is a lot lighter. And that had American Tour and Pearl Malt in, and Vienna Malt. So obviously Adams used crystal in this one. So the other one it was a lot darker. Good job I didn't put it in your clear glass, look at that. So it is a mahogany like a mahogany colour, but just a little shade lighter than the last one. One thing two finger red, near enough. If you've got small fingers, maybe it's one finger red. So I'm going for the smell. Nice compacted head. A bit off white colour. No one, no one to sniff. There's not a lot of sniff, not a lot of taste. So, cheese Adam, let's do it like. For some reason, I expected these extra special bitters, strong bitters, to be really bitter, and they're not. So this is the second one I've ever had. And that's the same as like makes me expect it to be real bitter, but they're not. And it's, that's what's put me off. I didn't really want a, a real, real bittery brew. But this is quite smooth actually. Mike's was a bit more thick, was, was thicker on the mouth, mouth feel. But this is a, a, a smooth, a smooth tasting. It really is nice. I was like, I have enough trouble picking one up. Oh, never mind, four ops. So I've got no chance of picking them up. So it's straight out of the fridge. So maybe I should have left it to warm up a little bit. But that is one nice beer, Adam. Which appreciate for sending it out. So I've got one more left to try yours. So I think I'll sit down, enjoy this, and try not to fall asleep drinking it. But well, that is one nice beer, which appreciated. So that's Adam at Baldy's Homebrew. I'll put the link down, which is well carbonated, even though it's not in a cap. You create a glass. <coughs> Fair the nose then. So I'll put a link down below of his channel. And thanks so much, Adam, which appreciated. You're one cracking beer. Thanks, mate. Cheers, bud.